In this video, I'm going to give you a quick example of the Maxon Universe Ecto effect, which you can use on things like text in video editing programs such as DaVinci Resolve. So let's have a quick look at their website. So this particular uh, plugin is called Ecto, and as you can probably see, it's useful for creating a glow and distortion effect around text, kind of like a horror effect, if you like. So once you do purchase this program and install it on your PC, it should automatically appear in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to go into DaVinci Resolve. And once it has been installed, you will find it under the Effects tab. And on the left-hand side, if you go down to the Filters option, you should find the uh, Universe uh, plugins listed in this section here. So I'm going to add some text to this uh, timeline to show you the effects. So I'm going to go to Titles. So the effect doesn't work on all of the text, so you either need to choose Text Plus or any of the Fusion titles for it to work. So I'm going to choose the Fade On effect, which is one of my favorite. So once you add your title to your timeline, you can then just edit it as normal. So I'm just going to put a different title in and just change the size as you like. And it's going to choose a different font style. I'm going to choose that one. So once you're happy with your, your title, go to your effects panel and choose the one you want. So I'm going to choose the actor one, which I've got saved in my favorites. I'm going to drag it to the timeline and release. And straight away, you can see that it gives it a nice, a nice glow and distortion effect. So I go through the timeline. You can see the effect being applied and so on. So you can actually change, change the effect. So on the right hand side, we have the the fusion title and under the effects tab so make sure effect is selected then we have the ecto plugin so we can actually choose a preset from a list so you click on preset it gives you a list of all different presets which you can add so there's multiple presets to choose from so for example i can choose this one click apply and you can see a different presets being added to that particular text and again you can choose any one you want so i'm just going to go for this one, click apply. And again, so once you're happy with your preset, you can also customize them. So if you just scroll down through the list, you have the source, you can increase the glow intensity. So you can rank it right up to 10 or back down to zero. So I think a low setting is ideal for this. So that's kind of nice. You can also change the distortion. So you can see right in the outside is more distortion, kind of a wavy effect. And of course you can change the size. So again, I think a small size is best suited to this one. And of course you can change the color. So again, you have a color preset, so you can choose does a preset color. Or of course you can choose your own color so you can see you have the inner color and the outer color so i'm just going to change the outer color so to show you quickly so let's go for a reddish color so again you can see a nice effect's been applied and if you scroll down even further you can choose the glow settings so you can click on them to expand and you can change the contrast and so on i think that looks quite nice Again, you can change the thickness and things like that. So there's lots and lots of different settings. I won't go through all of them as it will take forever, but you know, you get the idea. If I keep going down, we have distortion settings. So you can actually change the pattern. That's kind of like the, the outside pattern around the uh, letters. So this, the default is closed. So you can choose plasma which kind of looks very similar. We can also choose electric. So they all look pretty much similar. 
and brimstone, which is just kind of more of a, a pulsating glow. And again, you can choose, and it's going to go back to uh, clouds. You can choose the complexity. And again, so, and you can also change the animations. You can change the kind of direction and flow of the animation around the, the exercise. You can see it's being changed. So it's pretty simple to use. Just choose the effects tab and play around with the settings and just kind of change this one a little bit. The pulse, is, the pulse intensity, so it kind of you can see it pulsing away slowly. You can also choose the speed, so it kind of flickers. Let's play that in real time. So that's quite a nice effect. Let's try that again. So yeah, lots and lots and lots of different settings. So just play a ring with them. Pretty simple to use. I will put uh, some demonstrations at the end of this video. So hopefully that helps you. Thanks for watching.